Don't sleep with your sledgehammer. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, back in Project Zomboid. Oh, what a wonderful sleep we had. I'm gonna have to, uh, find a weapon. Sledgehammer's what I'm carrying. But that's not ideal. Let's just hold on to this hammer for now. Just in case some zombos broke in overnight. And I think my foot is still broken. Um, it's a pretty safe bet. Let's take a look. Hmm, still fractured, sure enough. Splint that up. Yes, sorry. Did not mean to pain self. Okay, good. <laughs> pain Moodle went away almost immediately. I'll uh, close that. Is. Is outside. Bunch of gas cans there. That's really, really nice. Um, should we make some sandwiches? Eat some corn? Cook some chicken? We've got a lot of options. Really, I should uh, go scavenge houses around. There is much, uh, much to do out here. Oh, but it's raining today. Fart. Well, let's go over to that uh, office building across the way, and I'll see if I can't just uh, grab a little bit of goodies with my sledgehammer. Need at least three or four more doorknobs, which means uh, six to eight more hinges. Hopefully it's not going to uh, take too much out of me to use this sledgehammer. Oh yeah, I hear him banging around for sure. I don't really want to take that door off. Oh, they're banging in here. Hello? Hello? Oh my. Anybody around? These all look like glass doors. I'm not sure I'll get anything if I break these. Hello? Anyone in here? Suppose not. I do hear some bangery. Hit the lights. Hit the lights, hit the lights. Power's still on, so I guess that's a nice thing. Should I break these doors? Well, at least see what happens. Yes. Oh, that's not gonna work out well. Oh, maybe a little better than I thought. I only want the sledgehammer in the, uh... Oh god. Close the door. Close the door. Good. Oh, immediately exhausted. Oh. That took so much out of me. Excessive exertion. So now if I come across a zombie, I'm, uh, pretty fucked. But, uh, yeah. One point came off of that. It's enough to make another door, though, so I guess that's pretty important. I don't think that I'm gonna be able to do another one today. It's gonna be slow going. Yeah. Oh, fuck. They're banging on there. Well... Maybe he'll bang that door open for me, and I won't have to uh, come back and do do more sledgehammer madness. Because wow, that takes a lot out <laughs> really fast. I didn't even swing it that many times. On the plus side, it's early in the morning. Uh, the rain is watering my crops for me. I'm gonna put a door over there, I think. I'm glad we, uh, haven't met too many zombies. We've had a couple break-ins, but nothing too major so far. Go ahead and come back in here. Put my sledgehammer back in the oven. Because that's where these things belong. Right? Am I right? I don't know if I'm right. And we'll get all of that out as well. It's generally good to keep a sheet or two. I would be a fool to uh, walk around without it. I will grab my axe. 
think that'll be a good idea. We could chop some trees and whatnot. Uh, this plank can move as well. Come with us, plank. I think there's room in the trash. Is there room in the trash for plank? Sure. Sure there is. Yeah, we've got enough to make two more doors, so I need to get uh, five more planks. Is that good math? Six more planks. Six more planks I think sounds right. Or seven. Doesn't matter. I think we can carry three logs. Unfortunately, my exertion is super high still, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat that zombie up. Necessarily. And I don't want to put any more uh, durability damage on my axe either. We'll just uh, try and avoid him. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's just hanging out. And we did chop a lot earlier, I guess, so that's nice. Well watered, slightly stunted. That's alright. I didn't have to water it. That's the positive part. <laughs> Mother Nature waters it for me. Hmm, am I going to be able to fit, like, a bunch of logs? Put two in this bag and one in the doctor bag, like we do. You remember how we do? I should really, uh, set up some traps and things like that. So I can, uh, catch some animals. I think that would be a really good way to get some nice, easy food. And that guy's still chilling. Wonderful. Yeah, I guess you can stay out there. I guess. What the fuck? <sniffs> Just gotta make sure to keep my door closed. Oh, there's a bunch of planks out here, too. Awesome! Let's make a couple, couple doors. I'm gonna do it up. Give me these. Give me that. A little more. I like it. Alright. Now, can I take this plank? Oh yeah. I've got quite a burden on my back. But we shall persevere. Is that enough? A little care to get rid of the hunger? That's a good boy. Alright. I need to put a door over there. This is going to go super well. I just know it. Another plank in my bag. Let's go ahead and saw all these up. And hopefully it won't take too much weight to do so. Um, can we make a door? Wooden door? Let me do. Wooden door. Yes. Make this now. Oh, walking so slow. Got all them planks. I'll need to make uh, another wooden door. First, put these fucking planks away. So we're not threatening back injury. I've already got high exertion. Ugh. My little guy's just working himself into the ground. That ain't fair. That ain't right. That ain't fair. Alright, I think I can make another door over this way. I do believe. Would you let me do it? We're short planks? Oh, I guess we are. Because I put them in there. So I wouldn't break my ass. That'll do. So we needed three. There's two. Oh, Project Zomboid. I'm really glad that I didn't take the uh, transfer inventory item slower perk, because that is painful. That is really painful. Let's make another wooden door. Rotate. There we go. Looking nice. Looking real nice. We could probably do a little more. If I get, uh... Just a little more doorknob. A little more doorknob, a little more door hinge. Then I can work on more gate and more door. But I'm sure they're gonna come uh, tear the shit down at some point as well. The zombies eventually will come. 
I'm glad that I broke my foot early, I guess. It was, yeah, kind of fortunate. I would be really, really upset if uh, we were swamped and I ended up breaking my foot. Relatively good thing to do early game if you have to do it. <laughs> I'll bring the sledgehammer. Hopefully uh, not too much exertion. I could actually recycle doors inside the base as well. But uh, I hate to do that. Because it gives you like an airlock kind of thing against the zombies. We could probably do uh, do some doors up at the police station too. Planks and shit are easy to come by. It's the uh, the doors that I find troubling. Yeah, I want that door, but there's a zombie. A zombie lady. Paper trail in front of the bank. That's how we do. Oh god. Excessive exertion. And she uh, definitely hurt us. I'll help you. I'll help you. Oh god damn it. Exhausted. We are gonna have to go for uh, a little rest. Hopefully that lady will just bang her head onto the door until uh <laughs> until it falls down. This this fucking sledgehammer is pretty brutal. Um Yeah. I think it should take away a little less exertion or something like that. We'll go over here. Have a little nap on the bench. Uh, but maybe I don't want my sledgehammer. Don't sleep with your sledgehammer. There we go. Uh, we'll give it maybe three hours. Mm. Gunshot. Immediately as I go to sleep. I don't appreciate that. I don't hear any zombies knocking on my shit either, so... I guess we're okay. This bitch is still knocking, knocking away. Yeah, there's definitely more, more zombies out now. But that's all right. I think we've cleared this place out, so uh, it'll be a relatively easy place to get a door. Two, three, four, five, six. Come on, seven. That'll do. Ah, oh, only one fucking. Hinge. I need another hinge, buddy. And of course I'm exhausted again. Oh yeah. That's nice. Great. So I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna rest. And I'm gonna come back for the rest of that fucking door. And then uh, we'll have an extra doorknob. If I should find any door hinges. Or if, uh, yeah, if zombies knock down my doors, then I might need to, uh, set out, set out and find some hinges, or doorknobs, or whatever I'm missing, if they steal some shit. You're not tired enough to sleep, but I'm exhausted, bro. You don't understand how exhausted I am. Maybe I should just, uh, look through my shit. Look through my shit for just a minute. Get some uh, door knobby things. Close this. And I'm glad we have a bunch of fridges and freezers so I can kind of just uh, stay at home. Not worry too much. Put this primary. Good, good. And yeah, we'll make some bacon. Tasty bacon. A little donut. That'd be nice. Adhesive tapes, antidepressants. I'll use the other oven, stove, what we have. Oh my god. There's a rat in here. I'll use the other one. <laughs> Thanks so much. Just trying to get rid of some of this exhaustion, I suppose. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Grab, turn off. Yeah, didn't do much for the exhaustion, unfortunately. Proteins, fats, carbohydrates. Hmm, yes. Fresh Chinese takeout. 
reduces boredom? It sure would, wouldn't it? I'm gonna eat all this, all this goodness. How do I know when the power is going to go off? Is it going to happen in the middle of the night? I'm so scared. We don't necessarily need packs of pop in that fridge either. Oh, maybe I could take just a little rest. If I'm not tired enough to sleep, maybe just rest. I'm super exhausted. Can't you see? Ah, oh, that's more like it. Hmm. High exertion. Yep, we're getting there. I am gonna get that fucking door frame. You mark my words. <laughs> there we go. A little bit moderate exertion. Take a break. Take a nice break, little guy. You've been working hard all morning, huh? Alright. So, we're good to go now. Grab that sledgehammer. And we'll do that fucking thing that we do. Um, get rid of this real quick. Hold this, hold that. I guess hold this. I need that. Yeah, it's a shame that the uh, sledgehammer and the axe and the baseball bat all lose condition so fast. But uh, it's it's much like it would probably be in the Zombocalypse. You need to keep replacing your weapons. Baseball bat's a nice solid weapon, but you put some spikes in it and it loses durability quicker because, uh, you know, the spikes are getting all bent out of shape and shit like that. Because you keep braining a bunch of zombies. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense to me. There's a zombie just there. But it'll be okay. Are we, are we squared up on that door? One, two... Three. There we go. Another hinge. That'll work. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I could probably uh, even do another door in there. <clears throat> I've got high exertion now. I don't like it. I don't trust it. <clears throat> I've got to limp my way all the way back. Which ain't gonna be fun. Is there anybody in here? Nope. Stand back. Come on. Nope, not quite. Exhausted. I'm exhausted. Well, can we rest? Let's just rest a little more. Ah. Been working hard. Been working hard killing these zombies all day. Nobody appreciates the work I do around here, I don't think. But I'm gonna do it. It's gonna get done. All right, there we go. A little more. Huh. 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 Did this door like regenerate itself? What the fuck? A couple more hinges and a plank. Excellent. This is what I want. And yeah, I'll get out of here. Clear those doors off. Mm-hmm. The one and only way to do. And I can probably uh, put my sludge hammer up for just a little while. What a useful tool, though, huh? Breaking down all those doors? Holy shit. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, let's go in here. This is where I live. This is my house. I keep guns in there. <clears throat> I like guns. I like the layout of my base currently. I didn't think a restaurant would make such a good base, but uh, I'm definitely not disappointed by it. So uh, let's slap this sledgehammer in. We can take some planks and shit with us. Doorknob, door hinge. Came on up. Came on up in the world. Hmm. And then, oh, I still need to fill this fucking gas can. Ah, but I'm drowsy. I'm so drowsy. It's all right. Just make another door, just real quick. It's gonna be great. Probably not gonna run into any zombies, maybe. There's that one that's lurking. 
and I just let him lurk. Oh. Now banging head against door. No problem. Unpack. Okay, yeah, unpack it all. I don't care. You think I care? I just don't. So yeah, we've got enough to complete this door. Um, maybe I should do like an airlock kind of thing with this. That might be good. And uh, that is part of my base, so I guess I'd better go beat that bitch off my door. Or, I don't know. Let her knock it down. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I haven't seen just one zombie be able to knock down a door in a day, though. So, uh, yeah. I won't be too surprised if she can't. If she can't do it. Build this. Construction. Awesome. Alright. Now, uh, should I go try and take care of this? I got fucking really high exertion. I'm really, really drowsy. But hey, bitch! Yeah, it's not going great. Maybe if I had my, uh, Red Rider BB gun, I could shoot her eye out. Fall down, please. Fall down, please. Fall down, please. Go on. Please. I really need this from you. Oh, God. <clears throat> She's gonna be able to break down my doors. That is for damn sure. I really put some fucking wear on this baseball bat. Oh, painkillers. Don't mind if I do. A little bit of trail mix. Hmm. Wonderful. I like snacks. Yeah, excessive exertion. No wonder it took so long. Might have made the wrong choice. I have no re no regrets. <laughs> we'll need to uh, finish planking up the furniture shop tomorrow and things like that. Yeah, my uh, my exhaustion is just creeping up there because I've done so much resting and knocking down doors and a little more resting and things like that. But it was a good good time, all things considered. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode, friends. This has been Project Zomboid. I have been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, friends. And if you do, I will send you a doorknob. Uh, you can help me out with shipping costs, because, you know, it's a pretty big doorknob. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks for watching, and until then, bye bye One, two, three, four... Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.